G'day everyone, I'm Shane Watts from the Maxis Climb Dirt Wires Academy of Off-Road Riding Schools KTM Race Team. For this week's uh, tech tip, we're going to be showing about the radiators. We're getting ready for the GCC at Snowshoe Mountain this weekend, a very tough race, lots of rocks, lots of roots, lots of mud. We've got on here the SRT radiator guards, very strong, very durable, gives a lot of strength to the radiators. They are much stronger than the standard usual KTM OEM stock radiator louver. Now with the strength and that, uh, a, lot, a lot less chance of having a, a DNF because of a radiator issue if you fall over on the rocks and bust your radiator and plus that's quite expensive. So uh, now because there's going to be a lot of mud this weekend, uh, you have the chance of blocking up these radiator guards and also same with the stock radiator louver. Now uh, we did some testing early in the year in the mud and we found that actually with these radiator guards you're able to keep more airflow than these stock plastic ones but that's only if you use some foam you know you put the foam over the top of the radiator guard so you get the strength and durability of the guard to protect the radiators and you get the foam to protect the airflow by keeping the mud off of the guards and let that uh, air flow on through keep the engine cool especially in those difficult and nasty conditions we're uh, going to be experiencing at Snowshoe this weekend. Now with SRT they also have a great range of the foam where there's this skinnier stuff for the radiators or for the helmet visor in those muddy conditions or the thicker variety for putting in your skid plate uh, again for those muddy conditions. So what we want to do you just quickly go ahead and whack up some of the foam, you get yourself a zip tie and you want to make sure that it's extended down over the bottom of the radiator. This is the uh, important part down low because where the mud packs up on here. Now this foam it helps uh, the mud fall off and doesn't get blocked as much and uh, during testing we actually after we um, went out and went roosting for an hour or so we took it off and you actually hold up to the air or to the sky I should say, and you can actually still see through it, even though there's mud on the front, so you knew that there was airflow still going through well. Worked better than the stock uh, uh, plastic louver. So uh, what you want to do first off, so we go ahead and we just push the cable tie through there, and we'll loop it over and around behind the radiator mount, pull it back through, and then once we get it out the other side, push back through the foam, about an inch, two centimeters lower. Join them up, obviously, and zip it through just loosely. Once you got it there, you then go ahead and do the same thing over on the other side and go through this top uh, mounting hole for ease of installation. Get it through the foam, that's the hardest part. Put it in through the hole there. Straight out of that, look at that whammo. Zipper up loosely. Do the two bottom ones as well. Turn the guard a little bit. So with this bottom one down here, you gotta make sure you have it tied in tight to get away from the front mud guard as it turns. So we line it up there, push it through right about. Oh, the hard parts, hard parts in getting it through the foam. All right, we're through. Push it through that bottom hole just out the bottom of the guard, around the outside of the guard you want to get it over that point there, so then we zip her up and it pulls it back out of the way of the front mud guard same thing over the other side here push it in angle it through there we go do them up tight We're well, good to go. We go ahead and we'll cut these off. Get the end bits off. There we go. Three and four. Good on the steering. There's no issues there, no hang ups. And then you're ready to go roosting in the mud. You've got the protection of the guard for the rocks and for the crashing, so you don't have a DNF that way. You've got the protection of the foam from the mud so you keep that airflow going through and keep your engine nice and cool. Now, maybe halfway through the race, it's a real nasty one, real sticky mud, and the foam clogs up, at least you have the option of then grabbing hold of the foam and 
Shazam! There it is, rip it off. You're good to go, nice and clear. And you got the next part of the race, or the remainder of the race, with clear air passage through the radiators. Can't do that with the stock ones. So, the SRT radiator guard is awesome. Combined with the foam, you have all of the conditions covered. So, happy roosting out there guys. Go tear it up.